So I grew up in a you know Catholic family, went to Catholic schools. Um, I had never really encountered Christ. I didn't know Christ. Um, I didn't even know it was possible to know Christ. As soon as I got into college, I, I really fell away from the faith. I quit going to Mass. Uh, there was such an emptiness in me, almost a despair of, what am I going to do with my life? What's the point of life? I just had this crisis in, in college, and I think I didn't know how to answer it. And so I, I started running after all kinds of things. I really got into the party lifestyle. Like you said, you know, beers and girls and fraternities. And of course, all of that led just led down a black hole. And, you know, like I said, I think God used all of that in my life. The confusion, the seeking, the longing, the darkness, just to bring me to my knees. And I, I remember that night very clearly. It was the, the, the night that changed my life. It was like two in the morning. Everybody was sleeping. I was up and, uh, you know, just these dark thoughts were in my mind and my heart from all the stuff I had been going through. And I remember thinking, I just can't go on this way. You know, something has to change in my life. Uh, either death is going to take me I'm going to just give up completely or something has to change. I just remember seeing the crucifix above my, above my door that my mom had put there when I was young. And, and I, I fell down on my knees and I put my hands together and I just started to pray the Hail Mary, talking to Mary for the first time. I think it was the first real prayer I'd ever said. At that moment, I felt a peace I can't even describe. Something supernatural, a, a love that was beyond anything I'd ever encountered before. And, and I knew at that moment that I was feeling the closeness of Mary. And I came to understand later that I was feeling God's love through her. And I remember getting up from that prayer and knowing my life would never be the same again. But that was, that changed everything for me. I had encountered God as a living person through Mary. I started going back to confession. I started going to adoration, praying. I, uh, I started going to mass, sometimes daily mass. and. I started asking God, you know, what do you want me to do, God? The call that I felt, even when I was a young man, even in grade school, I felt called to the priesthood, but I always kind of pushed it away, even in high school. I think I'm like, who does that anymore? But I said, maybe, maybe God is calling me to this. Maybe this is possible. And so somewhere along the way, someone gave me a book on St. Francis. It talked about how Francis had given up everything. He was attached to nothing. And because of this, he had a total freedom to follow Christ. And I remember reading that and tears coming to my eyes because I felt such joy. I was like, that's it. That's what I want. I want that. That total freedom to be able to let go of everything so that I could put Jesus in the first place in my life. And from that point on, I was looking Franciscan, Franciscan, Franciscan. But I remember going to the Capuchin Friary in St. Louis, the postulancy house for the first time, and the guys opening the door, seeing the habit, uh, seeing the, the simplicity, the way they lived, uh, the seriousness, the, the, the prayer, the fraternity, the real love that the brothers had for one another. And I felt such a deep peace there that I just kept coming back. So I would come back you know, every other week and I would pray with them, I would eat with them, I went on discernment retreats and the conviction just grew stronger and stronger. This is where I'm supposed to be. And so, you know, after a lot of prayer, a little bit of nervousness, excitement, fear, you know, I said, I want to take the leap and, and just uh, see what happens. And so I applied for postulancy and they accepted me. And, uh, so this is my uh, 11th year in the order now, and you know, I just, I've never doubted the fact that God called me here. Oh.